Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, as we look at some of the features that I like and some of the new features also of Microsoft Edge. Uh, one of the features that has been um, a favorite of mine not only since close to the beginning of the Microsoft Edge Chromium update, uh, but also it's been improved over time is the immersive reader that is really a cool feature when you use Microsoft Edge. So the immersive reader is there to remove the clutter that is on a web page. So for example, you might want to read an article, but there's ads, there's all sorts of you know banners and things that shouldn't be there or that you don't want to see as there might be distracting to you. Also, the immersive reader gives you a wide range of ways to actually view an article so that it's easier to read, easier for your eyes, or if you have disabilities, um, well, you know what, the features in there might actually help you have a better um, experience in reading web pages. Uh, you have some kind of trouble depending on the colors or depending on uh, the way that the text size and so on. So an example of the immersive reader in Microsoft Edge is, for example, I'll go to a a web page called space.com. So any page that you go to and you see articles going through and you're like, oh, this is this this might be interesting here. Two giant blobs. I want to read that article. But you see, there's the ads on the top, there's the, the newsletter stuff on the right. You, you've got a lot of things that distract you all across here. And what happens is that maybe that's, you know, too distracting or making it difficult to just go through the article itself. On the upper uh, right, where the address bar is, where you see the address of the web uh, page and the article you are at, you'll see kind of a book. When you go on it, it says Immersive Reader. You can also actually use the F9 key on your keyboard to enable it, if you remember that shortcut. Once you click on it, there you go. You've got the article, and you've got the text, nothing else around it. It's clean, it's just perfect for reading. And of course, reading preferences are cool. You've got on the upper right, the reading preferences where you can go and choose um, the way that it can actually have line focus, which means you can actually go on a page and read an article and focus on specific lines. If you have a hard time, you can now just focus line by line. This is something that could be cool. It could be more than one line, three lines at a time, or a paragraph, or a little more. So depending on what you're reading, it's gonna adjust. And this is one of the cool things that you can check out. The other thing is the text preferences at the top that are nice. Here, you can set the size of the text so that it makes it easier for you to read. You can actually choose more space between the text and the words if you want to make it easier for you to read. Uh, you can choose some of the different fonts so that it might make it a little more, a little easier for you. You have, of course, text column styling, the way that it shows up on your screen. And you've got the themes, which means you can have, you know, a, a white background with dark text, but maybe you want to have um, white text on a black background. Maybe that's what you have and when you want to have. And you want to have text that is bold, that is more subtle, uh, depending on how you want to read it. And of course, there's more themes available that you can click. And here you got colors. So if, for example, colors might help you define, you know, what text is, how easy the text is going to be to read, you can actually even choose colored backgrounds uh, to make it easier. So all of this makes it you know, very easy. Once you actually set your text preferences, they will always be the same and you'll be able to have that available on any website that you go to. So whatever website you visit, you'll be able to read an article and go to that article and say, oh, there's uh, something I want to read about it, um, you know, somewhere. You, whatever article you're going to have, you're going to be able to have immersive reader. Now, if it doesn't appear, it's because you might not be at an article level. So for example, let's go back to space.com that I was to, multiple articles. 
You see here multiple articles. This is not where immersive reader is going to lie. You is going to be used. Here you got to choose an article. That's why the book or the immersive reader isn't available here. But once you click on a specific article, that's where it knows that maybe the immersive reader could be useful for you, and you'll go there if you want. So it's pretty cool and um, really nice feature. And of course, you have the read aloud if you have problems actually reading or problems simply um, with you know your vision and have a hard time. You can actually have it read aloud to you also in the immersive reader. So it's full of very useful features. And I think this is a very nice option of Microsoft Edge browser. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.